Welcome to today's discussion on a subject that many of us encounter throughout our lives, self-esteem. This concept is our internal dialogue, the assessment of our self-worth, and it significantly impacts our daily lives. Self-esteem shapes the lens through which we view our personal narrative. It's the silent narrator that constantly feeds us information about ourselves. When self-esteem is low, this narrator can become our harshest critic. It can make us doubt our abilities, hesitate to take on new challenges, or be overly critical of our mistakes. Have you ever accomplished something and felt like it wasn't worth celebrating? That's low self-esteem whispering in your ear, telling you that your achievements aren't significant. Sometimes the struggle to recognize our own worth is silent and unseen. Think back to the last time you faced this challenge. How did it feel, and how did you respond? Self-esteem isn't just about how we feel on our best days. It's also about where we find strength on the tough ones. What are the small acts of courage that go unnoticed in your daily life? But every milestone in life, big or small, is a testament to your abilities and worth. Our worth isn't determined by a single achievement or setback. It's woven through the everyday choices we make. Can you identify a choice you made today that reflects your worth? Acknowledging these moments is crucial in building a healthier self-image. Building a healthier self-image starts with the stories we tell ourselves. What's one positive story you can tell yourself today? Apologies can be a form of courtesy, but when overdone, they may reflect a sense of unwarranted responsibility for things beyond our control. Over-apologizing can be a habit hard to break. Reflect on a recent situation. Did your apology serve to communicate regret or to fill a silence where you felt uncomfortable? It's not just about saying sorry less, but about understanding our intrinsic value more. How can recognizing our own value change the way we interact with others? It's important to discern when an apology is genuinely due and when it's a mask for insecurity. Taking ownership for our actions is a key step towards maturity. When we make a mistake, the temptation is to find a scapegoat. Yet admitting fault is a strength, not a weakness. How can owning up to our mistakes shape our integrity? Blaming others can be a defense mechanism to protect our fragile self-esteem. Blame shifting not only harms relationships, but also hinders our personal growth. What lessons could we be missing when we don't take responsibility for our actions? It's often easier to point fingers than to face our own shortcomings. However, embracing our mistakes as opportunities for learning and growth can be a powerful step towards bolstering our self-worth. Body language is a non-verbal cue that can betray feelings of low self-esteem. As you work on your posture, consider other actions that can reinforce positive self-perception. Engaging in activities that make you feel competent and capable can be a good start. What activity makes you feel confident? If you catch yourself slouching or looking down often, it might be time to consider how your body language reflects your inner state of mind. Adopting a posture that conveys confidence can, in turn, begin to fortify how you feel about yourself. We all have nervous habits that surface from time to time, especially in social settings. Imagine how freeing it would be to let go of these habits, to interact with ease and without the inner tension they represent. Consider for a moment the source of these habits. What are they protecting you from? But when these habits become a constant fixture, they might be signaling anxiety or discomfort stemming from low self-esteem. As we notice these habits, we can gently remind ourselves that discomfort is a natural part of growth. What gentle reminder can you give yourself next time you notice a nervous habit? Recognizing these behaviors is the first step toward addressing the underlying feelings. Acknowledgement without judgment is the key. When you recognize these behaviors, do so with compassion rather than criticism. How can you be more compassionate with yourself today? Downplaying your achievements is another hallmark of low self-esteem. It's as if a voice tells you that you don't deserve credit for your hard work. But every step forward is a building block in the edifice of your self-worth. Let's start giving ourselves the credit we deserve. Starting today, what new tradition can you create to celebrate your wins and reinforce the value you bring to every achievement? A negative self-image can be debilitating. If you often find yourself feeling unattractive or unintelligent, it's time to question those harsh judgments. 
They are not reflections of reality, but distortions created by low self-esteem. Perfectionism can be a double-edged sword. While striving for excellence is commendable, an unyielding quest for perfection can be a paralyzing force. It can lead to avoiding challenges for fear of failure. Recognizing that perfection is an illusion and that making mistakes is part of being human can help alleviate this pressure. These reflections on self-esteem are not exhaustive, but they are central to understanding how we perceive ourselves and navigate our lives. It's important to remember that self-esteem fluctuates and it's possible to nurture a more positive self-view with time and effort. As we continue to explore the facets of mental wellness, we invite you to consider your own experiences with self-esteem. How have they shaped your journey and what steps have you taken to foster a more compassionate internal dialogue? Thank you for joining us in this exploration. Stay tuned for more content designed to support your understanding and growth. We value your perspective and together, we can continue to shed light on the complexities of the human experience.